Heat will flow between one object and another if the two objects are at different temperatures. And temperature is just a measure of how much thermal energy each object contains. So the greater the temperature difference, temperature difference between an object and its surroundings, so it doesn't have to be between two objects, it could be an object and, and what it's surrounded by, air for example, the greater the temperature difference between an object and its surroundings, the greater the greater the rate at which heat energy is transferred. So this is saying that if you have two objects which um, have a bigger temperature difference between them, then we will get more heat energy moving from one to the other per second. That's what's, that's what's meant by rate. So here we have an example which has the greater rate of heat transfer. Add arrows to show how the heat moves. Well, what's the temperature difference in, in A's case? Temperature difference is 10 minus 2, so we have an 8 degree temperature difference. 8 degrees C. And heat always flows from the hotter to the cooler. So heat will flow that way. In part B, the temperature difference is 10 minus minus 2 degrees. There's a distance of 12 degrees between the hotter and the cooler and so we're going to get a higher rate of heat movement between the hotter and the cooler body in, in part B.